Alright, let's do this thing. You again? What now? Now, is that any way to talk to your business partner? Partner? Bloody Varric. I suppose you're the help he promised. It figures. If you see that sodding bastard, bring him here. I want to hear exactly what he's promised, right from his lying mouth. Ha <laughs> Gotta go find a, uh... What do you call it? One of them horns to... To go and summon everybody. You! Ah, brotherly love. It's quite something, don't you think? Sure is something. Especially when little brother makes promises I can't keep. Bartrand, so suspicious. I have in fact brought us our future partner. What? Partner? You stupid, nug-humping dirt farmer. Why did you go promising something like that? Because if we don't get this expedition moving, brother, then we won't have any profits to argue about, will we? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. Ah, there's so much love here. It's very comforting. What I'd love is the coin to back up my brother's confidence. How about it, human? I do have your coin, in fact. You're joking. What did I tell you, Bartrand? Not bad for a human. All right, partner. Full share of the profit between you, me, and Varric. Now we just need a decent entrance into the deep roads. These might be just what we need. What's this? Three? Four entrances into the deep roads, all in the free marches? Where'd you get these? Didn't I tell you we could find a Grey Warden? Mother didn't raise a fool. Well, she didn't raise two of them. Well, color me astounded. We just pick the most promising one and go. Time to wrap up any business you have in the city, my friend. We'll be gone for several weeks at least. Let me know as soon as you're ready and we'll head out. Okay, we got nothing to do around here. I already sold all my crap to a merchant, so I can pretty much go. Time to wrap up any business you have in the city, my friend. We'll be gone for several weeks at least. Oh, I actually have to go wrap something up. Huh. It's funny. All right. Certainly your people have stories about the Dalish, no? My people? The elves in Tavinter. They must have heard of us. They've heard. They just don't care. But if they run away, the Dalish would help them. Do you ever feel might as well say if they flew into the sky they could live in the clouds what would they eat in the clouds there's nothing there but fluff and the occasional bird this is why nobody takes the dalish seriously <laughs> Going to finish Martin off properly this time, are ya? Where's my property, eh? How does it feel making a profit off someone else's hard work? You've got it wrong, Martin. Isabella sent me. Oh. <laughs> I knew I could count on that girl. I need someone to help me find out where the raiders have hidden my stolen cargo. This job's as easy as a peg-legged tavern wench. And there's good coin in it to boot. I'll take care of it. You'll need to look around the docks. The crates bear the seal of the Orlesian Port Authority. So you'll know it when you see it. You're assuming I know what an Orlesian Port Authority seal looks like? <laughs> it's fancy. Just like everything Orlesian. I've had it with the Raiders. And this cargo is the key to me getting on the straight and narrow. You're doing me a huge favor here, friend. Thank you. And be careful. Alright, that was unnecessary for this episode. So let's get the hell out of here. I told your grandmother I was marrying your father. She threatened to disown me. She said my children would be mongrels. 
My father wanted to lock me in, but she told him it's her life. Let her ruin it. I wrote to her when each of you were born. She never wrote back. I'm glad she didn't die hating me. The estate is yours. Why are we still here? Technically, the house is now property of the Viscount, since its owner died without an heir. If we went there now, we would just be squatters. But if the Viscount acknowledges our rights, we can get back more than the house. We can get back our name. Your mother's dead. Let it go. When I was a girl, your grandmother was the young, beautiful, noble mother all my friends wished they had. She might have had a hard time accepting it at first, but she would have loved you, all three of you. Carver. He was such a little boy. Never had a knee that wasn't scraped or trousers without holes. The last thing Carver would want is more crying. I just keep thinking there's something we could have done. It's killing me. I, I remember that awful creature reaching down and... 18 years of loving and feeding and raising and... That was it. At least you're past the it's all your fault thing. I'm sorry, love. I was distraught. I never really believed that. It's just... I miss him. There were four of us when the blight began. It will never be over while there are just three. I've written to the Viscount. I have an audience for after Bartrand's expedition leaves. I couldn't do anything for Carver. But with luck, I could at least give us a home. I hope Mother convinces the Viscount to give us the estate. I think the Canary is spying on us. I'm looking for some cargo. You are in luck. Cargo all around. Take your pick. I could use your assistance. I'm looking for crates sealed by the Olesian Port Authority. I haven't seen any. Sorry. Talk to the Arbor Master. I'll bet he's got information about your cargo. He's in his office. Hey, if you're done wagging your tongue, can we get those sacks off the docks? Right, come in. Captain finds a parole. Just getting the runaround. I have a strange feeling I'm back to be jumped when I go back here. The make shipping manifest. I'm looking for cargo bearing the seal of the Orlesian Port Authority. Ugh. Adam, deal with this. I apologize on Liam's behalf. He is a very, very busy man. I'm Adam, the harbor master's assistant. I understand you're looking for a legion cargo. I have seen the crates. I can't remember where. Such a shame. You're wasting my time. Now, nah, don't be pessimistic. The clink of gold coin often jogs my memory. They say your life flashes in front of your eyes before you die. You're not going to kill me in broad daylight. No one's that stupid. Is this enough to help you remember? Ah, it's coming back to me. The cargo is in Alton Woodrow's warehouse. By the dock. I'm glad we could help each other out. Asshole. <laughs> Didn't respond the way to a threat that I thought he would. That ain't the right way. Where the canary are. You want to see real work? This is where you come. All right, it's been it's been a little while since I played this game, so I I don't quite remember all of the different. Um... Oh great, here we go. This is private property. There's a fire on the other side of this row. Get help before it spreads. What? Don't you hear the screaming? Are you deaf? I don't hear anything. Shit! A fire could destroy the loot. We have to check. But... But there's not really a fire, is there? No, Meryl. It's a trick. Oh. That's very clever, then. We're under attack! Here we go! Ah! 
Yeah, thanks, Meryl. <laughs> trying to get out of this without killing a bunch of people, but Meryl just wouldn't let it go. How many times have I broken into this place? Had to have been at least two. I didn't like the looks of it. Now you go. cool that as a rogue, Hawk managed to avoid that trap. Set the thing off, but like jumped out of its way. <laughs> Watch your step. So that should do it. This is some potent stuff. You could wipe out all of Hightown with just one vial. Oh great. It's poison. <laughs> exactly what we need to be giving the criminals. Where'd they go? Jeez, Meryl gets angry in a fight. Alright, uh... Oh, you know what? I guess I gotta go back to the Hanged Man. The sport into Vinter? Do they hold competitions? Hand out trophies for the best scowls? I'm not brooding. Moping, then. You seem like you're a champion at it. I'm perfectly content at the moment. Oh, so that's you smiling. Hm. Glad you clarified that. I'd never have known. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want your pity. Are you talking to me? You said you were sorry about the ritual I endured. Keep your sorrow. I only meant... You have all the freedom none of our kind enjoy, and you throw it away. On what? Our people need to reclaim their heritage. A heritage of defeat? To what end? Would you truly turn your back on your own history? There's so much we don't know. It's not my history. It's simply history. Such a lack of respect for the Dalish with this guy. Guess what I found? Crates filled with enough poison to assassinate every noble in Orlay, and then some. <sighs> I knew I should have told you not to look in the crates. Look, 
There's nothing shady going on here. I got the stuff from a legitimate supplier, and I'm going to sell it through legitimate channels. It's all legitimate. It's poison. It kills people. I just sell it. I'm not responsible for what people do with it. So, where is it? I refuse to be a part of this. You want it? Get it yourself. Oh, come on. If I don't get the goods back, I'm ruined. Maybe you should trade in something else. Like Gollum dolls. I hear there's big demand for those. Fine, you've ruined me. Happy now. Kinda, yeah. I ain't get any approval bonuses out of that? You think someone would have been approving of the fact that I didn't tell this guy where to find his stack of poison? Ugh, whatever.